Manufacturers distribute diphenylmethane diisocyanate, commonly called MDI, in a variety of packages, including drums and intermediate bulk containers. In this section, we will discuss the recommended procedures for handling drums and intermediate bulk containers of diphenylmethane diisocyanate. This will include receiving drum and intermediate bulk container deliveries, the personal protective equipment required during transfer operations, and the proper way of discarding empty containers. The U.S. Department of Transportation, DOT, regulates the transportation of 4,4-prime diphenylmethane diisocyanate as a hazardous substance in single packages in quantities greater than 5,000 pounds. When shipped in packages of less than 5,000 pounds, this material ships as non-regulated. The storage and handling of MDI at your facility may be subject to other federal, state, and local regulations. When the truck arrives, all paperwork should be checked for accuracy, verify the purchase order number, and ensure the proper material and correct number of containers have been received. When you have checked the security seals against the paperwork, break the seals and open the doors of the trailer. Use caution when opening the doors as items may have shifted during transportation. Assist the driver in positioning the trailer at the dock. Make sure that the driver has set the emergency brake on the truck once it is in position. Wheel chocks should be placed under the tires of the trailer as well as the rear tires of the truck to prevent movement in either direction. Once the paperwork and trailer checks are complete, the containers are ready to be unloaded. When forklifts are used to unload drums, they should be adapted with the proper drum handling apparatus in order to move the drums. Never use the forks to pick up a drum by the chimes. And never try unloading a trailer without using the proper equipment and techniques. Make sure that the name on the container labels matches the name on the shipping documents. And confirm that no containers are leaking. All these checks may seem unnecessary because the operation is routine, but taking these precautions every time will ensure that you have received the correct product. Drums used to transport MDI should be made of metal with tight head construction. Open top drums are not recommended. Intermediate bulk containers can be made of either metal or a variety of other composite materials. Drums can be stored on their chimes or on pallets. However, they should never be stacked more than three high. In order to avoid contact or exposure to MDI, appropriate personal protective equipment must be worn during transfer operations. For MDI, this includes chemical splash goggles, and chemical resistant gloves. The preferred way to dispose of empty MDI drums is to contract with an approved drum reconditioner. If you need help in locating an approved drum reconditioner, contact the product manufacturer. If you do not use the services of a drum reconditioner, make sure you neutralize any residual product or cling, puncture the drum so they cannot be reused, and remove the product label. Containers with even a little moisture, water, or any foreign substance must not be refilled. Reaction between MDI and water will slowly emit carbon dioxide gas, and in a closed container like a drum, could cause a violent rupture. Whenever you suspect that a reaction is taking place inside a sealed container, you should isolate the area immediately and contact the manufacturer or the shipper for assistance. In this section, we have discussed the recommended procedures for handling drums and intermediate bulk containers containing diphenylmethane diisocyanate. This included receiving drum and intermediate bulk container deliveries, the personal protective equipment required during transfer operations, and the proper way of discarding empty containers. If you have any further questions or are unsure of the actions required of you, ask your supervisor or team leader or contact the product manufacturer. For more information on the topics covered in this section, 
Consult the following literature developed by the Center for the Polyurethanes Industry. Melting 4,4-primethylene diphenyl diisocyanate, MDI, in drums. PMDI user guidelines for protective clothing selection. MDI transportation guidelines. Working with MDI and polymeric MDI, what you should know.